So Gaffer, it was a tough weekend last weekend, but now we've got a game to make that amends on, on Tuesday against Pickham Wanderers. What are your thoughts going into the game? Well, we need to we need to improve on a lot of a lot of different things. Um, you know, at the moment things are not great in terms of results, but there's a load of good things happening within that, and we've been harsh. We've been dealt a harsh set of circumstances. You know, losing Solon and um, and TJ so close to the game was was tough, um, and we we can use the injuries, but we need to get better with the per- the people that are on the pitch. They need to do better. And as me as manager, need to get more out of the players that are available. So um, we're obviously playing another team that haven't won yet or picked up a point. So it's going to be a big game. Yeah, and Saturday was the heaviest defeat of your time here. What sort of message do you give the players after the game? Well, it's a it's a heaviest defeat in terms of the scoreline. But, you know, I think they had four shots on target and all four went in. So um, that's difficult to take. We, we, had mo- we had moments last year where teams actually got the better of us. More than what Portsmouth did. The big, the biggest disappointment is Portsmouth didn't have to do anything to score goals. They put the ball in an area and it was and they just outfought us, which is a which is a big disappointment. So with these little things that we need to improve upon, but what we need to improve on is is pretty controllable. Um, but you know the players need to do better, and above all, I need, I need to do better. And you said earlier Wickham had a pretty tough start to the season as well. Do you think it gives us a real chance to put a statement down tomorrow with a good result and performance? Well, they're a, they're a team that historically get promoted to the championship and then get relegated back back into League One. So they're still a, a strong outfit in League One. I'm sure their manager is not happy with their start. But um, I just think we need to be a bit more incisive in the final third and, and, and work a little bit harder, a little bit smarter, especially in, in our reaction time. As soon as the ball turns over to get in a better defensive shape and defend crosses better. So if we do that... You'll start to see us a, a look a little bit of a better team. I think when the, when the third goal went in for, for Portsmouth, it's hard for the players. It's like you've started the second half well on the front foot, looking to get get back in the game, and then all of a sudden it's like a it's just slowly releasing a balloon where the the air just gets sucked out of us, and obviously the atmosphere and, and the change in the in, in the in the ground changes, and it's difficult for the supporters as well. So I wasn't pleased with the way we let the game drift at three 0 but we, we we need to improve. Absolutely, and you talked about uh, Tom James and Solbrin. We lost pretty close to kick off on Saturday. Is there any updates on those two? Them two, have, them two have gone for a scan. Sol's obviously not got no chance of making the game. He's going to be out for a period of time. But we're just going to make it, make sure that the scan is clearer. Um, Darren Prattley's still ill. Um, we've sent him for blood tests. and blood tests have come back. We've, he's got a problem. He's got a viral infection, so he'll be missing. Um, Ethan Galbraith will be back fit for a concussion, but then we lose Jaden Sweeney because he was concussed and. And um, it's just the way it is, isn't it? At the moment, you know, to to go through the whole pre season without any injuries apart from Adam Thompson, and then we're, all of a sudden it's, we've just been hit, hit pretty hard. So um, we just need to come up with a team that can can get us a result. We need to concentrate on not losing the game. Let's get our first point. Let's go and get our first clean sheet and give us something to build on. Yeah, and today we've bolstered our attacking options with the addition of Shaq Ford. What do you think Shaq can bring us? Well, Pace Power is a strong boy. He's only 19, but he's very, very strong. He's had one loan at York. You know, Steve Foster's watched him a lot and speaks very, very highly of him. So I'll give a little bit more attacking speed. We do need one more at the top end of the pitch as well, um, just to give us more options. Um, but we're hopeful, hopefully, he'll bring us goals, he'll bring us youthfulness, exuberance, um, pace, power. I think that's what we've been lacking. And finally, it's another Tuesday night away game tomorrow. The fans will make the journey again. Just how important are they going to be for us again tomorrow? They're the, they're the biggest part of this football club, you know. I'm gutted. I'm you know I didn't sleep on Saturday night at all. I didn't sleep a wink. Um, simply because even though we have got loads and loads of factors going on at the moment, you feel like you're like you're letting them down, and that's something that I, I don't want to make a habit of doing. So, you know, we need to respond in the right way. They will they will always respond. They'll be there in the numbers again. It's not too far far a trip. So, I think there's going to be more bumps in the road going forward. But as long as we stick together, you know, you look at so. Someone like, look at Cambridge, you know, they got promoted from League Two. Mark Bonner done a great job. It was tough for them last year. They lost a lot of weeks, but they stay up and they're at the top of the league early doors. So we need to go through these bumps. We need people to grow. We need people to, to develop at this level. Um, but it's not something that they should be scared of because we have a lot of, a lot of talented players. You know, and once they start showcasing that talent and really believing in it, then I do think we'll be a good team.